Ever since the first studies of the Great Pyramid in Egypt have been made, researchers have been amazed. As you can see, the pyramid behind me has only three sides. Tell them to hold off. Until now. While the humans of centuries past may not have been as advanced as we are today, they were still nothing short of impressive. That's because ancient temples, burial grounds, and theaters often rival their modern counterparts, as their size, detail, and materials are often superior to that of structures built today. If we're struggling with our modern technology, is it really logical to suggest that our ancestors did this with pivots and with little ropes and with wooden roller? You can't just dismiss all of this as pure coincidence. But it does indicate that they were extremely intelligent and very civilized. We know they were used as burial places, but we also think they would have been used as places for ritual gatherings. However, despite this, there are still a number of ancient ruins that, despite being in relatively good shape, are still largely unknown. So today, we're going to be giving you the inside scoop on these fantastic buildings by counting down the top 10 most incredible ancient structures. But before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Number 10, I'm in Newgrange. Newgrange. Although Eastern Ireland may look like little more than green fields and large farms, it turns out that it is home to an ancient relic that is one of the most mysterious on the planet. To Newgrange. The group just got here. This is the entrance. I feel like this is the start of humanity right here. That's because it is in this landscape that a large, circular mound known as Newgrange can be found. Measuring in at 85 meters in circumference and 13 meters in height, it is believed that it was made by local farmers about 5,200 years ago, out of about 200,000 tons of rock. This rounded tomb called Newgrange has stood on the bend of Ireland's River Boyne for more than 5,000 years. It is massive, distinct, and very mysterious. And while it goes without saying that its construction would have been quite the task, no one is completely sure why it was built, although it was most likely used as a burial ground, temple, and calendar. We know they were used as burial places, but we also think they would have been used as places for ritual gatherings, for a, pre a focus for community gatherings, a um, place to honor the ancestors. Regardless, we're sure that Newgrange must have been the place to be in ancient Ireland. Number 9. San Chi Stoop. If you are of the Buddhist faith, chances are that you've heard of San Chi Stupa, which is more commonly known as the Great Stupa. That's because this temple, which was built around the year 300 BC by the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka, holds the distinction of not only being one of India's oldest buildings, but also the site of the Buddha's ashes. Buddha is represented in many different symbols. This is Buddha deep in meditation, surrounded by evil beings at the moment he achieves enlightenment. Buddha is represented here as a linden tree, the place where he attained enlightenment. The wheel is known as the Wheel of Law, which represents Buddha and his teachings. And while we can't be entirely sure that they are housed there, what we do know is that the temple is absolutely stunning as its large dome shape, many pillars, and beautiful gateways truly mark it as unique. Various parts of the world come to Sanchi. We are a group of Sri Lankan. As a result, not only is it a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but it also has become a popular tourist and pilgrimage site for Buddhists and non-Buddhists alike. Number 8. The Pons Fabricus It still works. While bridges aren't always considered to be the most impressive of structures, few come anywhere close to the Ponce Fabricus. 
That's because this bridge has truly stood the test of time, as despite being built all the way back in the year 26 BC to connect Tiber Island to the Campus Martius in Rome, it is still in use today. When you look at the Tiber Island today, it's joined, still today, with two ancient Roman bridges. This is largely because it was not only constructed out of high-quality materials, such as tough and pepperino stone, but because it also has an innovative additional arch in its center here, which ultimately gives high waters an escape route while alleviating pressure on the hefty foundation. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the Pons Fabricus has been able to stave off heavy erosion and is still mostly intact despite its age. Number 7. The Great Wall of China While there are many famous walls out there, few are quite as recognizable as the Great Wall of China. That's because this massive structure, which stretches across the north of the country for about 21,196 kilometers, was easily one of the most time-consuming yet incredible infrastructure projects ever undertaken. The Great Wall is over 2,300 years old and is visited by tens of thousands of people every day. That's because it took almost 2,000 years to complete, as each Chinese dynasty gradually lengthened it to meet increased threats from both the Mongols and other barbarian tribes throughout the centuries. And while this means that some parts of the wall are more modern than others, the Jianco section of the wall is one of the most dangerous portions to hike. This portion of the wall has been restored to a much better condition. They were so different from one another. As a result, while only 70% of the structure is actual wall, because about 30% of it instead consists of mountains, rivers, moats, and ditches, it is nonetheless one of the most imposing defensive fortifications ever formulated. While the Great Wall of China is certainly impressive, Hadrian's Wall, which was built across the world in England, certainly gives it a run for its money. That's because this structure, which was built between the years 122 and 128 AD, stretches across the entirety of England's width. The building of Hadrian's Wall was a complicated process that involved the entire Roman army of Britain. Running for a total of 117.5 kilometers from the Irish Sea on the west coast before stopping just a little bit short of the North Sea on the east coast. According to the records we have available, it supposedly marked the border between ancient Rome and the barbarian tribes of northern England and was heavily fortified order to prevent invaders from coming across it, with guard towers being built every seven kilometers or so. As a result, while not exactly in the best of shape in some areas, it can still be visited to this day. Number 5. The Parthenon Of all the ancient temples that have been built throughout the ages, few are as recognizable or as impressive as the Parthenon. Located in the city of Athens, Greece, it was commissioned by the Greek statesman Pericles in 447 BC and was completed in 432 BC. It stands apart for being falsely right-angled, as despite looking perfectly straight and symmetrical, its Doric columns are in fact tapered, allowing the temple to feature no right angles despite appearing to be filled with them. As a result, it is a true architectural marvel, and due to it being made almost completely out of high-quality pentelic marble and limestone, it has stood the test of time. And while different empires and rulers may have come and gone from the area, the Parthenon remains as one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Number 4. The Colosseum As far as ancient buildings go, few are quite as iconic as the Colosseum. 
constructed between the years 70 and 80 AD by the Roman Emperor Vespasian, it was built as a gift to the Roman people so that they could be thoroughly entertained whenever they pleased. Now, the area where it was built was chosen due to its central location, which placed it both symbolically and literally at the heart of Rome. Constructed using materials such as wood, limestone, tuff, tiles, cement, and mortar, it was largely financed by the spoils taken from the Jewish temple after the first Jewish-Roman war of 70 AD. The most completed, it could purportedly seat between 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. Now, the Colosseum would often make use of wild animals, such as rhinos, crocodiles, bears, and elephants, and would host a number of events, such as gladiator fights, theatrical productions, and, believe it or not, full-on naval battles due to its floodable stage. As a result, it goes without saying that the Colosseum was the place to be in ancient Roman times. Number 3. The Egyptian Pyramids Out of all of the entries on this list, few are quite as famous as the Egyptian Pyramids. That's because these structures, which were built between 2630 BC and about 650 BC, were not only the burial grounds of the country's pharaohs and consorts, but at heights of almost 150 meters, were often some of the tallest structures of the era. However, out of all of the pyramids out there, none are quite as impressive as the Great Pyramid of Giza. After all, this pyramid holds a distinction for being both the only surviving wonder of the ancient world and for being the world's tallest building for more 3,800 years, and as such, it took a lot of effort to construct. In fact, estimates state that it took a workforce of between 20,000 to 100,000 laborers about 15 years to create, with said workforce using about 2 million 2.5 ton limestone bricks in order to complete the project. And most interesting of all, when you consider the point at the pyramid's tip could reflect the sun in such a way that it could both tell the time and signal solstices and equinoxes, it becomes clear that the Great Pyramid of Giza truly is one of the most incredible structures ever built. Number 2. The Tumulus of Bougon Perhaps one of the strangest ancient structures out there is the Tumulus of Bougon. That's because not only is this multi-layered compound the oldest entry on this list, as it was built around the year 4800 BC, but it is also one of only a few that was used by a variety of civilizations, with evidence showing that it was not only used as a burial ground, perhaps as a location for cult rituals. Now, what makes this tumulus even more incredible is that both its 90-ton capstone the various other multiple ton stones used to make it would have been extremely hard to transport to the site, thus making it very likely that the tumulus served a very important purpose. However, to this day, no one is entirely sure how significant this structure really was. Number 1. The Roman Aqueducts Water is essential to the success of any city and this was a fact that the Romans were certainly aware of. As a result, they chose to create a large series of aqueducts or water transport channels to bring water to various settlements throughout the empire. And while examples out of India to Egypt predate them, the Romans were the first to make them truly expansive, as these aqueducts, which were built between 312 BC and 226 AD, stretched across hundreds of kilometers of land. Now, they essentially worked by collecting water from a freshwater source, such as a mountain stream, and then funneling it on a downward slope towards a city, using gravity and the natural slope of the land to ensure that the water would reach its target, passing through sediment filters along the way so that the water remained clean. And while most water would flow underneath the surface of the earth at a depth of between 0.5 to 1 meters, there were some that would be funneled through massive bridges that towered over the countryside, making this system as beautiful as it was functional. And best of all, when you consider that many are still in use today, it just goes to show that these water funnels truly were built to stand 
the test of time. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which ancient structure you thought was the most incredible. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.